Welcome Bulls fans, Austin Drowdy here with your weekly preview for November 9th and 10th at the North Iowa Ice Arena as the North Iowa Bulls get set for a two-game set against the Wilmer Warhawks. It's been an outstanding homestand for North Iowa as the Bulls have gone five for five. They are two wins away from going untouched through a seven-game homestand here at the barn. The North Iowa Bulls were winners on Friday and Saturday night against the Alexandria Blizzard, winning five to three on Friday night and four and one on Saturday. The Bulls are all alone now in third place in the NA3HL's West Division and just a couple of points off the lead. We'll take a look at the full standings as well as preview the weekend series coming up against the Warhawks. But first, let's take you back to Friday and Saturday night and check out the highlights from another weekend sweep in the Madhouse in Mason City. Friday night's game was close all the way through. First period is where we start. Caleb Strong from the tight angle whips that past Connor Pozos, and the Blizzard take a one to nothing lead. Strong picks up a holding call halfway through the first period, though, and Peter Verstegen takes advantage. One timer in front, and this game is tied at one. Time winding down in the first. Zach Simon, his first junior goal, and it's a big one. Just 14 seconds before the break, the Bulls go up 2-1. to one. That lead would not last, though. Four and a half minutes into the second, Joe Dockin carries it through traffic and ties the game at two. Jared Blakowiak at the other end, breaking toward the net. Brendan Studioso still has it. Who do you commit to? It's Studioso who takes the shot, and the Bulls take the lead for good. North Iowa up four to three final seconds now. Last time it was Joey Petronic from the back wall. Now it's Matt Dahlside from the hash marks. Why can't the Vikings find a kicker who can hit it from this far away? Way. Dahlside goes deep. Verstegen had two in this game, and the Bulls win it 5-3. to three. Saturday night's game now. Let's get this party started. Just 35 seconds in. Jared Blakowiak turning and firing just under the crossbar, and the Bulls lead it one to nothing. At the other end, though, final minute of the period, Riley Scanlon cleans up the rebound and puts it away, and we go into the intermission tied at one. Halfway through the second, if this one doesn't hit the crossbar, it's awfully close. Blakowiak again, and it's two to one. Pete Verstegen, your West Division star of the week, buries this one on the doorstep and we go to the third with the Bulls up 3-1. to one. Elias Thompson got tossed in the third period for raining rights on Joey Petronik's head in front of the penalty boxes, and Cam Fagerly slips it to Verstegen on the power play, and he makes them pay. 14.48 to go. Verstegen puts it away, and the Bulls put away the blizzard with a 4-1 to one win and a two-night sweep at the barn as they move to 10-5 and five on the year. Yeah, like you said, we were tied going into it, and you know, uh, now that we're two, four points ahead of them, it's great two wins this weekend, and we're looking forward to next weekend. With those wins, the Bulls are now just two points off of the West Division lead with 20 points on the season. Rochester and Granite City both have 22 points, although remember, Granite City does have three games in hand on Rochester, North Iowa, and the Alexandria Blizzard. Let's take a look at the full standings for the NA3HL West Division right now as New Ulm begins creeping up on the uh, top four teams in the division. There is a battle for playoff spots. We're only a third of the way through the season, but the race is beginning to take shape across the western landscape of the NA3HL. You need to know for this weekend series, the North Iowa Bulls are close to wrapping up a seven-game homestand with seven wins. They will need to win Friday and Saturday against the Wilmer Warhawks in order to do it. North Iowa did lose a home game against the Lacrosse Freeze back here at the North Iowa Ice Arena during the playoffs a year ago. However, they've won 12 straight regular season home games here in the barn. As for the Wilmer Warhawks, since their move from Little Falls and their switch from the Minnesota Flying Aces to the Warhawks identity, they've only played the Bulls four times. They have won one time, and that was a win on February 17th, a 4-3 overtime win, and that one was in Wilmer. Players to watch for this weekend include Jacob May, who's gotten things going since coming over from Cooley Region, who rebranded from the Lacrosse Freeze a year ago. He's got six points in eight games since becoming a member of the Warhawks roster. And Chase Vandeveer with four points so far. He had the team's only game-winning goal back on Halloween in a victory over the Breezy Point North Stars. For the North Iowa Bulls, Brendan Studioso has been red hot lately. Five goals and seven assists over his seven-game point streak. And he's been bubbling under, but it's time for him to finally break to the surface. Jimmy McDermott is our second player to watch for this week. Twelve points in a five-game point streak for the Dubuque, Iowa native. 
Both players also reached milestones in their win over the Breezy Point North Stars on October 27th, as Jimmy and Brendan that night both played their 100th junior games. Although Brendan Studioso will have a chance to reach that milestone again with his 100th game coming up as a member of the Bulls very, very soon. Game times Friday and Saturday night are both 7.30 p.m. And college students, you'll want to come out this weekend because it is college weekend here at the North Iowa Ice Arena. Both Friday and Saturday night, bring your ID with you from Waldorf, Nyack, Purdue Global, wherever you happen to be a student, your valid college ID gets you in the door for just $5. That's half price Friday and Saturday night. A couple of quick news and notes to pass along before we wind down the weekly preview for this week. And that starts with Dominic Florian, a North Iowa Bulls alumnus who helped the team to a Silver Cup championship and a USA Hockey runner-up finish in 2014, a season that the Bulls went 57-5. and Dominic is now a member of the Coventry Blaze of the Elite Ice Hockey League in Coventry, England. The EIHL is the highest level of professional hockey in the United Kingdom and uh, he signed on over the weekend. He had been studying at Coventry University and had been training with the Blaze, but he signed on over the weekend and made his debut Sunday in a 6-5 loss to the Fife Flyers. So congratulations to Dominic. Also noteworthy from this past weekend, the North Iowa Bulls raising over $13,000 to help the American Cancer Society and Relay for Life with our special jersey auction as we pink the rink this past Friday and Saturday night. If you are able to make it out, we'd love to have you at the barn this weekend. And if you're not, Hockey TV is where you can find the games on Friday and Saturday night. The game on Saturday will also stream live on our Mixler channel, on our Mixler channel, mixlr.com slash North Iowa Bulls. Just go to the North Iowa Bulls website and uh, head up top for our media coverage. Click on the Listen Live link. You'll be able to listen to Saturday's game for free if you do not have a Hockey TV subscription. And you can hear that same play-by-play -play with the video as well if you've got the Hockey TV subscription on Friday and Saturday night. Looking forward to seeing you at the barn this weekend as the North Iowa Bulls chase a 7-for-7 seven seven finish on their October and November homestand before they head back on the road to take on the Breezy Point North Stars coming up next Friday and Saturday. Until next time, Austin Drowdy for the North Iowa Bulls here at the North Iowa Ice Arena.